Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have a fun project to share using these adorable stamp sets from Miss Ink Stamps. This first one is one of their brand new release stamps and it's called Little Angel. And look at all these cute critters that you get in this set along with the angel and a lot of really great sentiments like you're an angel, have a heavenly day, do all things with love. And then look at this stamp set. I thought it would pair nicely with these banners. And so today I'm going to be using this largest banner here, this one, and I'm going to pair it with the angel and some of those critters. This is gonna be a very quick video today with a very simple card, but I think that it turned out so peaceful and calm and I really love it. So first I'm going to take the banner stamp, the large banner, and I'm stamping it with Versamark. And this is a clear sticky ink so that I can heat emboss with some silver embossing powder. So I'm just gonna pour that embossing powder right over there, right over the banner, and then I will heat set that with my heat tool. Here we go, just like that. And that's gonna be the start of this card. And then I'm going to take that stamp that says you're an angel, and I'm gonna stamp it right inside the banner there. I did kind of arrange the stamp with a little tiny bit of a curve so that it would follow the curve of that banner. And I also heat embossed it with some clear embossing powder, which I did not keep in the video. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush and take this scattered straw distress oxide and lightly ink that on right in the middle of the banner. This is going to look like kind of a, a light, a halo of light around this angel. And that was the, that's the look I'm going for anyway. So hopefully that's the look I achieved. And now I'm gonna take a few shades of blue Prismacolor colored pencils, and I'm going to color up that banner. I also took white for the final blending, and what I'm gonna do is first take the darkest color, and I'm gonna put it into the darkest areas of this banner. So where the banner is kind of folded over the top of the other part of the banner, or this ribbon, that's gonna be the darkest part. So I'm putting the darkest shade in there, and I'm going in with a very light hand, not hard, not pressing hard at all. And most of the time I'm putting it in in little circular motions. And now I'm going to blend that just a little bit with the second color, the medium color here of the blue, just kind of blending that out just a little bit more, a little bit more. And again, I'm using those small, tiny circular motions and not pressing hard at all. This is how you're gonna get a really great blend and I'm also making sure that these are very sharp as I go in so that uh, the color works with me instead of against me and I can get into those small areas very easily. So this is the third color and finally I go in with the white and just blend that all through. This is a really easy way to get your colored pencils to blend, especially if you don't have Gamsol. I couldn't find my blending stumps and my Gamsol since my move, so Today I'm just using purely colored pencils and it still turned out really great. So there's our banner, all blended through, just kind of blending out those blues to white. And now I have also colored up all those images, those sweet images, and I popped the angel up with two layers of foam tape and the critters around them, around the angel with one layer of foam tape. And now I have taken two rectangle dies and made this frame. This is using some glitter paper here, and I just made this to frame the entire scene here, the sweet little angel scene. I'm just gonna glue that on with some liquid adhesive and make sure it's all lined up. So this is our card almost ready, but I thought it needed something above the angel, so I took a look at this stamp set here, and there's a lot of butterflies, but this bee really spoke to me. So I'm just gonna stamp this bee out real quick on some scrap paper here and then color it up so easily and sweetly with the colored pencils, just adding a little bit of yellow to the body of the bee and a little bit of blue to the wings. And that's it. It's kind of hard to tell in this video, it's such a small image, but those colors add a little bit of a pop and then I'll just attach that with some 3M foam tape as well. Now attaching it to the top folding card base, it's 110 pound paper, 
and I'll just glue that right directly to the card there. And to finish it off, we're gonna add some glitter embellishments, of course, to the sweet little angel wings and the wings of the bee as well. So I've got my very favorite Stardust Stickles. Uh, I did a comparison between all the stickles that are clear, and this is by far my favorite of all time. And so I'm gonna add that to the angel wings and to the bee wings, and that's gonna finish our card today. I wanna to tell you that I really enjoyed this project today. I am inspired by my father, who is actually in the hospital ICU on a ventilator fighting for his life right now. And so this card was very, very helpful to me and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.